Greetings, Israel and sojourners of Israel. My name is Brother Jedediah, and today's date is February the 25th, 2023. I am coming to the nation with this topic, Christianity and the Seal of Jesus. Again, the title of my lesson is Christianity and the Seal of Jesus. There is no entity, no commodity, no sales pitch that has made more money than the Seal of Jesus. The Seal of Jesus and Christianity is the greatest financial success ever. The Seal of Jesus is going to be the first trillion dollar business, but yet the parishioners are dirt poor. How can this Jesus, who is supposedly God in every way, the Son of God, God in the, God in the flesh, sitting at the right hand of the Father, by the way, who went up there and took the picture of this pagan deity sitting at the right hand of the Most High? How can this Jesus, who so much wealth comes through, allow so much poverty and suffering? Wake up, Jacob, wake up. You have been sitting in these pagan churches for over 50 years, calling on this same Jesus and praying to him day and night. But yet, you cannot rub two nickels together. And you are suffering from all manner of sicknesses and diseases. What a shame. This Roman is not in your corner. Let's pause for a moment and reflect on a scripture. In the Hebrew Bible, known also as the Torah and the Tanakh. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and heal their land. This scripture says nothing about Jesus. Healing the land means that a land is not going to be burned. It will give its increase, which is food in abundance. And everyone who is calling on the true and living God will be fed. But with Jesus, only a certain segment of the population is being fed. The fake pastors, the fake prophets, the fake apostles, and the dishonest Christian leaders and their inner circles are the ones that Jesus favors. Amos 3 and 3. How can two walk together except they be agreed? So Jesus and these fakers are totally in agreement. This is the reason why Jesus favors them. Because they are leading you off and away from the Mosai and straight to the abyss where he will finally end up. Let's focus a moment on the true and living God, who is not Jesus. Jesus is the God of this Western world, and he is the God of Christianity. He's not the God of Abraham. He's not the God of Isaac. He's not the God of Jacob. And this is why we have been in bondage and poverty stricken for these past 400 years because we have been calling and praying to a pagan deity who cannot see, hear, nor answer prayer. Let's take a look again at the Old Testament, which is the true word of the Most High, and hear what it has to say. It will show us who we should be praying to. Isaiah 44 and 11. I, even I, I'm the Lord, and beside me, there's no Savior. Isaiah 44 and 6. 
Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. And beside me, there is no God. Isaiah 45 and 21. Tell ye, and bring them near, yea, let them take counsel together. Who have declared this from ancient time? Who have told it from that time? Have not I the Lord? And there is no God beside me. A just God and a Savior. There is none beside me. Isaiah 44 and 24. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, and spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. Isaiah 45 and 5. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou have not known me. Isaiah 48 and 11. For my own sake, even for my own sake, will I do it. For how shall my name be polluted? And I will not give my glory unto another. Interjection. And this includes Jesus. The Mosai will not give his glory to Jesus. Isaiah 48 and 12. Hearken unto me, O Jacob, and Israel my call. I am he. I am the first. I also am the last. Isaiah 45 and 23. I have sworn by myself, the word is, is gone out of my mouth, in righteousness and shall not return that unto me the most high every knee shall bow and every tongue shall swear or confess listen to this letter listen to Paul Philippians 2 and 10 that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in the earth, and things under the earth. Heaven is the Mosai's abode. The Mosai and his heavenly host abides there only. But this disrespectful book and Paul is referring to the Mosai and his heavenly host as things in heaven. What a shame. So Paul is saying that the Mosai and his heavenly horse must bow down to Jesus, a pagan deity. This is nothing more than so-called Greek and Roman superiority. The Mosai must re the Mosai must bow down to Jesus, who's from the seed of Esau. Whoa, give me a bread. This is the reason why we must reject this book, the New Testament. If you open your mind, you will see that this book is false. And this Jesus, who is being promoted in this book, is a deity. Wake up, Jacob, wake up. You have been deceived. We have been lied to. You have allowed this deception that sounds good to lead us off, or shall I say, to lead you off and away, to, and away from the Most High, the true and living God. I am pleading with you, Jacob. How long are we going to allow these Greeks and these Romans to trick us? If the Most High despise them and hate them, According to the book of Obadiah and Malachi in the Old Testament, why should we believe them? They are not on our side. Catholicism has done everything wrong against Jacob. 
But Jesus told us to forgive them. Why? Because Jesus is one of them, an Edomite. The popes and the Catholic Church has planted this Jesus in our way so that we can stumble and fall. And we have been stumbling and falling ever since then. Think about this. If they hid everything from us and kept us in darkness, why would they want to give us the so-called light of the world, Jesus? To equate Jesus to the Most High is an abomination, a sin. Isaiah 46 and 5. To whom will he liken me and make me equal and compare me that we may be like? But listen to Paul in Philippians. Who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God. This scripture and the entire New Testament is a lie. There is no one equal to the Most High. No one. No Jesus. Nobody. And to those of you who believe in this Trinity doctrine, that there are three gods, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, you are living in strong, strong delusion. Let me interject this. The whole Catholic Church and everything associated with it is Edom, Esau. And let me read this verse in closing. Genesis 27 and 41. And Esau, Edom, hated Jacob because of the blessing herewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And Esau is doing his best to make good on his promise to destroy Jacob. His intention is to destroy Jacob spiritually, physically, intellectually, and in every way. Wake up, Jacob, wake up. The most high hands are outstretched towards you. You are his firstborn, and he promised not to leave you nor forsake you. But you must reject calling on Jesus. You must reject calling on Yahweh Shai. You must reject calling on Yeshua. You must reject calling on Yeshua. And you must reject calling on Yeshua. It's the same pagan deity with a different pronunciation. Wake up, Jacob, wake up. And in conclusion, I must always conclude with the great King Solomon. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Wake up, Jacob, wake up. Let us look forward to welcoming Elijah's return, according to Malachi 4 and 5, or whoever the Moses decides to send back. But to you Christians, Jesus failed the first time. So what makes you think he will be successful on his second trial? Wake up lost Christians. Jesus is not coming back. Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe to this channel, and share this video. Thank you, and may the most say blessed.